In this video, I am going to show you how to count the occurrences of a value in a column in Google Sheets. So what I have is this example data where I just have a list of names and I am going to count the number of times each name appears in this list by using two functions. I'm going to use the unique function and then I'm going to use the count if function. So what the unique function will do is it will return the unique values of this list and remove duplicates. So if you don't already know how to use that, I'm just going to go equals unique and then I'm going to put in the range of uh, cells here that has my data that I want to remove the duplicates for. So these are all of the unique names in this list. And then what I want to do is just a simple count if with this to count the number of times each name appears in this list. So if you've never used count if, the first argument is the range of data that we're looking in. And you want to make sure to use absolute values. So I'm going to hit F4 so you can see these dollar signs around that so that it locks and stays searching in absolute values. And then what I'm going to do is comma, and then what am I searching for? My criteria, I'm going to search for this name. So I'm searching for this name in this range is basically what this function does. I'm going to do my closing parentheses, and then I am going to copy that down. So you can see all of the names appear once except these two names appear in the list twice so one two one two so that would be counting the occurrences of a value in a column in google sheets but there's one issue with this method count count if here only works with basically exact matches so if i have a list with um last names in it. Let's just put in a few last names here and you can see the counts are going down. Now they're showing zero because it doesn't work with partial matches. It's only going to work if the cell is an exact match. So what we can do in this instance is we can add a wild card to this count if formula to search for any instance of this value in any of these cells. So I'll show you how to do that in this next example. So I have the count if set up and I have these uh, first and last names. So you can see a bunch of them, like I was just showing, are showing zero because it's not an exact match. What you wanna do is you're gonna add the asterisk inside quotation marks and use the and symbol. So. I'm just going to go and edit this same count if formula, quotation mark, asterisk, quotation mark, and. And then I'm going to do the same on the end of this. So and, quotation, asterisk, quotation. So what this is going to do, the, the asterisk here tells Google Sheets any, any um, value and any number of values. So basically what we're looking for is we're looking for C2 with any value and any number of values on the front of it and C2 with any value and any number of values on the end of it. So you can see now this is doing a proper count because it's searching for partial matches instead of exact matches. So those are two ways to count the number of occurrences of a value in a column in Google Sheets. There are certainly other ways to do it. There's a ton of ways to really do anything in Google Sheets, but these are two of the easiest methods. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.